Hi students, this is Mr. Yao. In this lesson, we are going to review distribution and combining like terms. So we'll jump right into the examples. Distribution happens when you use a number times a set of parentheses that have several different things in it. That's the time when we actually uh, distribute. So here's how we're going to do it. Distribute means we're going to need to give this number outside the parentheses to every single thing inside the parentheses. So negative 10 times x is negative 10x. Negative 10 times a negative 8y is a positive 80y. And then negative 10 times a 1 is a negative 10. So the one thing you need to be careful with is any sign that's actually count as the term, part of the term behind it. So it's actually x and negative 8y and just a positive 1. Okay, example 2. So this time we have four terms inside the parentheses. We have a 3x. We have a negative 6y, we have a positive 8z, and a negative 53. We're using negative 2x multiplying with every single one of them. So let's do it. Negative 2x times 3x is a negative 6x squared. x times x is x squared because you have two of them, so it's um, an exponent of 2. Then negative 2x times a negative 6y is a positive 12xy. We can't combine the x and y, which, so we're going to keep both. Negative 2 times negative 6, the numbers multiplied together, is a positive 12 in the front. Negative 2x times a 8z, positive 8z, is a negative 16xz. Then we have negative 2x times a negative 53, it's a positive 106x. There you go, that's number 2. Number 3. We still have the distribution. So one thing again, the distribution is once a term multiply with a set of parentheses. So in the middle, we have two times the four x minus one. So we got to distribute the two. However, this three x is not next to the parentheses. So we are not distributing that three x, just the two. So I'm going to copy down the three x in the front. Two times the four x is an eight x. Two times the negative one is a negative two. We also have a negative seven on the end. But we're not done because now we have like terms. 3x and 8x, they're like terms because they both have an x and their x are both to the first power. So we're just adding the numbers in the front together. 3 plus 8 is 11. So 3x plus 8x is 11x. And on the back, we have negative 2 and negative 7 combined together is a negative 9. So let's quickly look back at a 1 and 2. Well, we have an x and a y. They're not like terms because they're different variables. And now number 2, you may see like negative 6x squared and this 106x, you're going to be like, well, they both have x. How come they're not like terms? Well, because one of them is x squared, the other is just an x or is actually x to the first power. So the requirement for like terms. They have to have the same variable. They also have to have the same exponents. And then they will be called like terms. Okay, number four. So number four is very similar to number three with one little difference. You might be like, well, I only see it a set of parentheses, but there's no number attached to it. So do I need to distribute? In fact, you do have a number there. It's actually a negative one times 2x minus four. So the number one is a bit tricky. One always have the ability to be invisible. So whenever you don't see any number, it's going to be a one. Other cases, other situations when we use them is like this. X to the first power, we don't write the one, but it's actually a one. So X is the same as X to the first power. Or in this case, we don't see the Y in the front, it's actually a one. Or when we actually just have a whole number, we can write it as a one and change it into a fraction. So one sometimes is invisible. So in this case, we do have a negative 1, not just a 1. That needs to be distributed to the 2x and the negative 4. So 2 plus 3x, negative 1 times 2x is a minus 2x. Negative 1 times a negative 4 is a positive 4. On the back, we have a plus 3. But now we still need to combine like terms. 3x and negative 2x together is just an x. Then 2, 4, 3, that together is a 9. The reason I'm putting the variable in the front is because that is called the standard form. Okay, and standard form also required us to put the variables in, I mean, the exponents in descending order. So that is number four. Moving on, a few more examples, five and six. So five is very similar to four, 
You don't see a number inside of parentheses, but it's actually a 1, so we're going to need to use the negative 1 to multiply. But everything in the front, the 5m, the 2n, the negative 6, they don't have anything to do with the parentheses. So let's um, draw our distribution, but we're going to copy everything down. 5m plus 2n minus 6. Then we have negative 1 times uh, 3m is a negative 3m. Negative 1 times negative 2n is a positive 2n. So we have negative 1 times a 4, which is a minus so there you go. That's uh, distribution. Now we need to combine like terms. We need the same variable and the same exponent. So 5m and negative 3m together, that is a 2f because of 5m minus 3m. Then we have 2n, positive 2n, and another positive 2n together is a positive 4n. Lastly, we have negative 6 and negative 4 together is a negative 10. That's number 5. Number 6, now it's kind of the same. So we just need to deal with each set of parentheses separately. So 3 is only going into the 7x and the negative 8. So that is going to be 21x minus 24. And then the next set, we actually have a negative 2. Even though it's subtracting, it's actually a negative 2 being distributed to the 2x and the 5. So we have a minus 4x and a minus 10. And then we have one more set. We have the positive 8 being distributed to the 7 and to the negative 5. Plus 56 and a minus 40x. Now we need to combine like terms. All the x's need to go together. So it's a 21x minus 4x minus 40x. That is going to be a negative 23x. As for the numbers, negative 24, negative 10, and a positive 56. That is going to be a positive 22. So that's our final answer for number six. I'm going to ask you to pause here and try example seven and eight. Hopefully you have tried. Let's have a look. It's the same idea. Oh, actually seven is the same as six. We're going to ignore it. Number eight, negative seven times four X and then times the five. So it's negative 28 X minus 35. And then we have a negative three multiplied with the two multiplied with a negative X. So it's a negative six. And then plus 3x. On the back, we have the negative 9 together being distributed to the 8 and a negative 4x, negative 72, and a positive 36x. Now we need to combine like terms. So we have negative 28x, a positive 3x, and a positive 36x. That is going to be 11x. Negative 35, negative 6, and a negative 72. That is going to be a minus 113. There you go. That's number 8. And that is all the review for distribution and combining like terms. Thank you.